What's going on, everybody? It's Elamar, Iowa's finest. I, I figured I'm just gonna go ahead and start vlogging and recording my experiences down in Dallas, Texas, coming from Iowa. Um, I'm literally coming from nowhere. Uh, it's crazy. I don't really know how I'm gonna do this video series, but today I'm just gonna start with my apartment. Okay. <laughs> I live on in uh, South Dallas. I'm not going to say exactly where, but I live in South Dallas. All right, I got mixed reviews. Some people told me it's the hood. Some people told me it's cool. I'm from Burlington, Iowa, which, I mean, it's a little ratchet back there, but I wasn't scared. I was like, fuck it, whatever. I need an apartment. This place is cheap, $829. But the crazy thing is $829 back in Burlington? Will get you like a two, three bedroom house. Yeah, I said that. Eight twenty nine a month will get you like a three, maybe four bedroom house a month. Okay, this is what I'm paying for down here. As you can see, I don't got nothing. I ain't got no furniture. I ain't got no. I got two pots and some forks and no spoons. All right, I'm not joking. So I'm just gonna share my experience with y'all. I'm gonna make this video quick. Um. So yeah. So right. I had a, I, I knew somebody who worked at this apartment complex. Um, that's one thing I, I can advise if anybody's gonna move. If you know anybody in the city you're gonna move to, go have them check the apartments out first because don't none, and I mean none of the apartments look like they do on the websites. You can try a apartment locator. I tried one, but he didn't, I mean, he just couldn't really find me what I was looking for in the apartments that I went to look at that he sent me. They just really want, wasn't what I was feeling. So I went with this one. I had, a, I had somebody I knew who worked here. He got me hooked up. He don't work here anymore. That's another story. <laughs> so, right, so last Thursday was my move-in day, okay? And uh, I came over here. First of all, I couldn't pick my keys up until 4 p.m. I ain't never heard of no shit like that. I can't pick my keys up until 4, whatever. So I woke up early that day, was just excited as a motherfucker, right, to get my place. Like, this is my first apartment. Like, I've never been more excited for anything in my life. This is mine. Like, what are y'all going to tell me in these walls? Nothing. All right. So anyways, four o'clock comes around, right? I paid in. I already had paid all my move in expenses. Oh, that's another thing. I don't know where... I don't know if it's just a city thing, but where I'm from, there ain't no such thing as no application. And um, what else was the other one? And there was two fees I had to pay. Oh, a processing fee. I had to pay $200 processing fee. I don't even know what the fuck that is. And then I had to pay $60 for an application. Okay. It, I mean, it is what it is. Like I said, this is my first experience. This is my first place. I don't know how shit works. So I'm just gonna pay it because I want my own apartment, okay? That might just be a city thing. Anyways, so I get to the apartment complex, right? I go in the office. You know, the girl who helped me out, she greeted me. She was like, oh, hey, you know, real friendly, real, real smiley. All right, I know how to read people very well. So I, I was already, my red flag was up. Uh, she's like, oh, your apartment's great. She's like, I walked through, everything's beautiful. I was like, you know, she had me excited for me. And I'm like, oh, you don't even know. Whew. So I, I, so I get my keys and everything. You know, I walk to my apartment, right? And I, I don't know. I'm just a little weird. Like, I wanted my own washer and dryer, right? This is getting a little dark, so bear with me, y'all. I wanted my own washer and dryer. I ain't never really used a laundry mat. I'm just weird about shit like that. I just want to wash my own clothes and my own washer and dryer, right? So I pay $50 a month for a washer and dryer. I don't know if that's expensive or not, but fuck it. That's what I want, right? Okay. That was one thing that I had to have for an apartment was a washer and dryer, right? So she told me everything was good, right? Hmm. Okay. Well, here, let me show y'all. It's going to get dark for a minute, but I'm going to turn on the light. So she told me everything was beautiful, right? So I'm, like, I'm excited. I came up and walked through this thing, and at first, everything looked great. And then wait, you know? So I'm paying $50 a month for a washer and dryer. Let me show y'all my washer and dryer. <laughs> There's my washer and dryer that I'm paying $50 a month for. Hmm. 
I'll be damned. So I go back down there like, um, isn't this apartment supposed to come with a washer and dryer? She's like, oh, yeah, sorry. Let, let me double check. That's, that's, that's red flag number one. She's like, oh, it's not going to be here till Tuesday. Tuesday. I moved in on Thursday, so I can't wash no clothes until Tuesday. Okay, cool. You're lucky I got some clean drawers, because if I didn't, I would really be pissed off. Hmm. So I get to walking around the apartment, you know. For $8.29, this ain't bad. I can't fucking complain. Like, it is what it is. It's a little on the ratchet side, but shit, I like a little bit of ratchet in my life. You know what I'm saying? So this is... so. My bad, let me, let me take a step back. So I come over here, you know, I get to taking out all my stuff, get to, get to cleaning it. I go to wash my hands. Where's the light at? So I go to wash my hands, right? Excuse my mess right there, I ain't did my dishes for the day. And let, let me get it real close, right? So I'm gonna show y'all the cold, how the water work, right? You know, a normal faucet. This is cold water on this side. But let me show you what happens when I try to get some hot water. I didn't shut that off. Let me show y'all one more time so you know I ain't fucking with you, right? Hmm. Ain't no hot water. Okay. That's strike two. I ain't been here nothing but less than a week. Oh, shit. I almost forgot. Let me show y'all something. You probably can't see right now, but this spot down here, it's a little wet, right? It's, it's a little wet. There was a puddle there this morning when I left for work. You wanna know what that puddle's from? That puddle is from the goddamn sink with no hot water. All right, so anytime that I run the sink too long, there's a fucking puddle at my feet. All right, I thought I was just tripping and I had made a mess the first two days. Nah, that shit leak. That shit leak. <laughs> That's strike two, right? All right, so let's go on. Let me show y'all my room. All right, I didn't even give y'all a tour. Excuse my manners, right? So this the living room. This the dining room. This my little kitchen. And back there is where my washer and dryer is supposed to be. But it is what it is. I ain't even mad at you, sweetheart. She just doing her job, you know? Hmm, where we at? Okay, let's go to my room. All right, excuse my room. It's a little messy. Um... <laughs> I just, I just bought that table and chair. That is my only furniture that I have. All right, I bought that at Walmart. 45 bucks. Can't beat that. That was a deal right there. I had to get it. Um, okay, so let's come over here to my blinds. Let me show y'all this. Oh, excuse me, the light's a little off. So, you know, you know with most blinds, how it come with a, a stick to open and close the blinds? Hmm. Why, why is this not connected to the blinds, right? When I walked in here, it's on the floor. Okay. I'm going to show y'all. Oh, it's dark. I, I ain't even trying to. I can't even show y'all. Anyways, this motherfucker, the, there ain't nowhere to connect this to, right? There's a little hole up here, but there's supposed to be a little hook, you know, that hooks into the little hole. where the, That little hole right there. I don't have this work, all right? I done had blinds before. You're not finna tell me these are some new upgraded type of blinds where you don't need no stick, all right? So the blinds don't even fucking work in my room, bro. Look, shit don't even work. I can't even open my goddamn blinds. I ain't got no hot water. I ain't got no washer and dryer to wash my fucking clothes. But you know what? I love it. <laughs> can't nobody tell me shit in these walls. I got a goddamn leaky sink with no hot water. I got blinds that don't even fucking open in my room, right? Oh, shit. And there was two goddamn wasp nests on my balcony that I had to kill with bleach, all right? I'm so broke right now, I can't even afford no fucking wasp spray. But you know what? Like I told you, I love it down here. I, Dallas is beautiful. And I'm not even being sarcastic. I fucking love it down here. I ain't going, I ain't never going back to Iowa. If this is the first experience that I have living in Dallas. Oh, I bet I ain't never going home. So like I said, my name is LMR. I'm Iowa's finest, all right? <laughs> and this is my apartment experience in Dallas. This is my first place. 
Oh, y'all want to see my bed? I told you I didn't come down here with no bed, right? That's an air mattress. I've been sleeping on an air mattress for the last month. Literally, since June 6th, I've been sleeping on an air mattress. And my back is fucked up. But I ain't never going back to Iowa. I'll catch y'all later. <laughs> Peace.